Hey guys, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara and we're a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. Today we've been tasked with the Ugly Duckling Challenge with about 20 other YouTubers. We're going to see if we could flip this damaged, dated dresser and turn it into something fabulous. So if you're ready to see what we did, come join me out in the garage. We started with this dresser, if I had to guess, it's from the late 80s, early 90s, really had no markings on it to tell us what it was. Um, it was in interesting shape, to say the least. I cannot tell if the previous owner painted the chevron pattern on the top. Uh, it looks like the old poly has worn off. There's a lot of uh, rings on the top and just heat marks from things being left on it. So that's interesting. And um, they've definitely spray painted the handles on here. So that kind of makes me think that they did paint this. But wow, if they painted those chevrons on the top, they sure did a good job. Anyways, first things first, we got to get everything cleaned. And we are going to use simple green mixed up to the bottle directions and some warm water and give this a nice good scrub. going to remove the hardware on this dresser and I'm not going to be able to reuse this as you can see some of the pieces are missing and the hardware itself has been spray painted over a few times so I'm going to keep these pulls for a future project but I'm definitely going to have to find something different to finish off the dresser. Next, we're going to vacuum out everything and make sure that it's nice and clean on the inside. Nobody wants to go home with somebody else's spider webs, so it's just nice to do a good job and thoroughly do a good clean out before you pass this on to someone else. The chevron pattern on the top has got to go. We're gonna start with a 120 grit sandpaper to take this off, then we'll move up to a 220 to finish it for a nice smooth finish. I don't know, what do you guys think looking at the chevrons? Did somebody paint this on here or do you think this is an original factory finish? We were stumped the whole time we were working on this. I could not see any overages like on the paint if they used a stencil or something they did a really good job if somebody painted this on there i'm not really sure this seems kind of trendy for a dresser that would have been in the early 90s uh i don't know leave me a comment in the bottom and let me know what you think did somebody paint this on here or did it come like this My idea for this dresser requires all of the drawers to be sanded down to the bare wood. So we're taking our surf prep sander and a 120 grit sanding pad and taking this all the way down. And we'll do this with all seven of the drawers.
adjuster looked like it would have a lot more damage to the rails when we picked it up, but luckily it was just this the one that had a bit of a split in it. We're gonna use our craft syringe and some Gorilla Glue to glue this back together and then clamp it. Luckily the rest of the drawers just weren't on the rails correctly, so obviously that's very easy to correct. And we only had this one rail that needed a repair. A little more prep work and then we're off to the fun stuff. If you are refinishing furniture, it is so important to get these first few steps correctly as far as cleaning your product, doing all of your repairs, and then going through and doing a final scuff sand using a 220 sanding pad on our surf prep sander just to go over the fronts and the sides of the dresser. This will make sure that our chalk paint will adhere and give us a nice finish. Today we're going to use our Krylon Chalky Finish Chalk Paint. It's carried at our local Sherwin-Williams store and we are using the color Alabaster which is a nice pure cool white. We load it into our gravity fed HVLP sprayer and off we go. Today's dresser flip is a ugly duckling challenge hosted by Corey over at Desert DIY. There's about 20 of us YouTubers participating in this challenge today. I have linked Corey's channel down in the description below as well as the playlist for the other YouTubers that are participating. Be sure to give their videos a view as well. I liked the natural look on the top of this dresser, so I went ahead and used the natural finish color of Wood Stain by Minwax. I did two coats total on the top of this dresser, waited about 10 minutes between coats, wiped back any extra, let it dry, and then reapplied the second coat. You can still see some of that chevron pattern as I'm putting on my stain here, which at the time, I'll be honest, I was a little concerned because I thought, what in the world am I gonna do? We took this down as far as we could take it in the wood and we still have some of that chevron as you can see, but in the end, it's gonna look really great with the ideas I have for the drawers. We had a big temperature drop in Dallas on the day that I was ready to do the drawers, so everything had to be moved inside. And you can see I had little helpers that were very interested in what mom was doing. I'll wipe my drawers down with a tack cloth to make sure all the sanding dust is off and then we'll get going. 
I got these awesome stencil pack off of Amazon that I'll be sure to link in the descriptions below. It had quite a few fun options to choose from, showing you just a little bit of what came in that stencil pack and what I ended up with at the end. I love the Southwestern vibe of this stencil, so we're going to use this one to help those drawers have a little extra pop. I'll use my alabaster chalk paint inside my small roller tray. I like to use my roller trays a few times before I have to toss them, so I always line them with tin foil so we get a few extra uses out of each tray. Now that my stencil is lined up just the way I want it to be, I'll use my foam roller to apply a light coat of my alabaster chalk paint. Very, very easy process. I used to be very scared of stenciling furniture, but I've done it a few times now and I've learned how to get better at it. It's just one of those things you've gotta try. It does make a big difference on your furniture and it can make little details just pop as you're gonna see on this dresser. I wanted the drawers to have a weathered and worn sort of look to them, so I went ahead and used a 220 grit sanding block to take down sort of the perfectness of the edges and the color of the stencil. You'll see the drawers side by side in a second to see what a difference it made to take the sandpaper to it. Just helped give it a little extra something and not look like it was just like a perfectly painted piece of furniture, which I think served it really well in the end. Now that the chalk paint is dry on the drawers, I'll go ahead and use a water-based satin polycrylic to apply my top coat.
Ah, finally a sunny day. We can go back outside and finish putting the poly on our dresser. I used the same polycrylic water-based satin finish poly and did two coats on the dresser body and three coats on the dresser top. Now that my poly has had plenty of time to dry, I found these beautiful lucite and gold poles on Amazon. I will be sure to link them in the description. They were the perfect fit for these drawers and didn't take away from the beautiful pattern that we had stenciled on the front. Hey guys, so I wanted to interrupt this video for a minute to show you something new that we're starting on our channel this year. If you follow our journey on YouTube, you know that we started flipping furniture to keep food on the table when my husband lost his job a few years ago. Flipping furniture has turned into a really great side hustle for us that has allowed us many opportunities, including completely paying off our debt and being invited to share our family's story on the Dave Ramsey Show. As we continue to meet our goals, we thought we'd take you along on this journey this year. Our next step is to save 15% of our income into our retirement. I have a goal tracker set up and each time we make a furniture sale, that money will help propel us further. The end of each month, I'll give you guys an update on our chart to show you how our graph is growing through our furniture flipping adventures. I'm going to use this tracker to keep me more accountable and I hope that we can be an inspiration to you guys also who are interested in going on your own debt-free journey. I'm going to put more information on the Dave Ramsey system baby steps that we have used in the video description below. From the profits we've made this month, we are almost at the 10% mark at the end of January. I am so proud of us, you guys. This is something my family never thought was going to be possible for us. And so the fact that we are able to do this and share this with you all, I hope is very motivating for you guys. And I know that it keeps me really motivated as well. And back to our furniture flip. Here is our ugly duckling dresser before, and here is our after. Thanks for staying with us all the way through. Be sure to visit Corey's page at Desert DIY and visit the playlist below as well to see all the other YouTubers who participated in the Ugly Duckling Challenge. And as always, we look forward to seeing you next week on Lemons to Lemonade. <laughs>